Welcome all. In this video, we will discuss CMOS NOR gate. For the NOR gate, we need two PMOS and two NMOS. As given in the schematic, we have connected PMOS in series, whereas NMOS are connected in parallel. PMOS is working as pull-up network as it is connected to the VDD and NMOS network is the pull-down network as it is connected to the ground. Here the output is connected to the LED so that we can see the status of output. Input will be given by these two push buttons. So status of these two push buttons will decide the input. So here we will be applying digital input. So let us see. We will start the simulation. So as the input is 0, 0 right now, we can see both the PMOS are on, whereas both the NMOS are off. So output is connected through this PMOS to the VDD. So LED is glowing and we can say that output is high. When input is 1 0, this is 1 and this is 0, then one of the PMOS will be off and that is why there is no connection of output to the uh, LED. So uh, LED is not glowing whereas due to this 1, one of the NMOS is on and through this LED is connected that is output is connected to the ground and so output will be low. When both the inputs are high, both the NMOS are connected. So output is connected to the ground through this NMOS and that is why it will be low. So for 0, 0 only for this 0 zero condition only the led is glowing the output is high for all other conditions output will be low now we will see the same circuit cmos nor gate circuit with the help of layout now this is the layout here you can observe two pmos and two nmos here you can observe there is a different width of PMOS we have selected. As the ratio of WP and WN is decided such that we should get TR that is rise time equal to fall time. So to have that calculation states that WP should be 4 times WN for the CMOS NOR gate. And that is why we have selected WP is equal to 2 micrometer whereas WN we have selected as 0 0.5 micrometer. With that we have done the connection like this. Here we have taken two PMOS. PMOS are connected in series. So one terminal of the PMOS is connected to the VDD. Second terminal is connected to the next PMOS. So that is the only one common terminal between this and then the remaining terminal is connected to the output. Here output is denoted by pi. Now NMOS are connected in parallel. So both the terminals, so this is the first terminal and this is the second terminal are connected for the NMOS. One of the terminal we have connected to the output whereas remaining terminal we have connected to the ground. So this is how we have done the layout. Here we have connected input A and input B. So for this from the palette we have selected clock. Now let us do the simulation. Now here we will see the simulation between B and Y so that we can see the rise time and fall time both. 
here we will check the truth table first and then we will go for the rise time and fall time calculation so here when input is 0 0 output is high input is 0 1 output is low 1 0 output is low 1 1 again output is low so it is observed that whenever input is 0 a is 0 and b is 0 output is high for all other condition output will be low now as it is uh, the rise time and fall time calculation please remember that for every CMOS design we have to ignore first three cycles so here first three cycles we are ignoring and we will start our calculation from this so here if you see rise time is 3 picosecond whereas fall time is also 3 picosecond and that is true for next cycle also so why it is so because while doing the design we have taken care that wp is equal to 4 times wn for nor gate so if you compare this design with a cmos nand gate that we have discussed in the previous video there we have used wp is equal to wn so if you have seen this uh, seen the area wise calculation for nand and nor NAND take lesser area than the NOR. That is the one of the reason why we prefer NAND over NOR. Because for the NOR, we need wider PMOS than that of the NMOS. And that is why it will take more area. Even if you have observed the power dissipation, that is also more in the NOR. It is 11.645. You can compare this power dissipation with the power dissipation of the NAND gate that we have designed in the previous video. So again the same thing you can observe over here. Here PMOS is wider and it is four times wider than the NMOS. So though both NAND and NOR are universal gate, NAND is preferred always over the NOR gate. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.